Hi, Scott with FDJTool.com. I'd like to introduce to you the Oracle Electronic Gold Tester from Gemoro. We found this tester to be an incredibly quick and easy to use gold tester. You don't need any messy chemicals or messy gels. It's going to test all colors of gold and it'll test all carats of gold ranging from 6 carat all the way to 24 carat. And you know what? It'll even test platinum too. So let's find out just how easy it is to use. With the Oracle Gold Tester, you get, of course, the testing unit, you get the plug-in testing pen, you get a small file, you even get a 9-volt battery to power it with, and, of course, you get detailed instructions. The Oracle is a compact unit. It's very lightweight as well. It, all, it can be powered by either the 9-volt battery that comes with the unit, or you can purchase an AC adapter if you want to use this in a store setting. Simply select battery from the off switch when you're using a battery or switch it up for when you're using the AC adapter. Quite easy. On the right side of the unit is where you plug in your testing probe. You get a very large gold testing area on the machine here. Very generous if you're doing larger items. Makes it very easy to use. Your indicators are a 36 LED bar that's across the top of the unit. It's going to range from NA on this side, meaning the item isn't gold, through 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, 22 carat, 24 carat, and even up into platinum. You have your calibration button. You have indicators to let you know the item is calibrated and when the item is ready to use. You also have indicators to let you know that you, it's time to replace your testing probe or it's time to change the battery. Each time you turn on the Oracle Electronic Gold Tester, you should run through the calibration procedure to make sure that your accuracy is good. When you turn on the machine, since I've got it plugged in, I'll flip it to the AC mode, your 36 LED bar will light up once, then blink twice. The green light will, ready light will be on to let you know that we're ready to go. So let's calibrate. You will need a 14 karat plum gold item to run the calibration. And when I say plum gold, I mean that's, that the item must be at least 14 karat gold. So I have my wedding ring here, so I know that to be 14 karat. I place it on the testing pad. I remove the cap from the testing pen, and I touch it to the item. And I will wait for the light bar to move up, and it will steady at some point in the middle of the bar. When it does, I will then press the calibration button and hold it. You see the calibrated green light came on and the green light stayed within the 14 karat bar. It is now calibrated and ready for use. Now the testing procedure is quite simple with the Oracle. It's basically the same thing we did when we calibrated uh, with a slight difference. I've got an item here that I'm not really not sure what it is, but we're going to find out. Now, when doing the test, it is highly recommended that you take the file that comes with your Oracle tester and you file through the surface of the piece to make sure that you get down below the surface. Now, I do understand that that's impractical. Yes, of course, the piece must be clean before you do any kind of testing, but sometimes you don't want to scratch it with a with a file. Uh, it's been recommended that you could use something like a pencil eraser and rub on the surface. Personally, we like to use the polishing pads that we sell because not only do they remove surface oxidation when rubbing it, but it also cleans it up very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the shank there. Get that nice and clean. We will set the ring on top of the, the testing pad here. I will take my testing probe and remove the cap and I will touch the probe to the ring and if you'll watch the LED lights up in our indicator the green light went all the way up to 18 karat and settled right there and sure enough we've got an 18 karat cold ring. Let me re replace my cap here. There we go. Now when testing occasionally you can get a small brown spot where the testing probe made contact with your piece. That's okay because that test, that polishing pad we had, just a quick rub, and that brown spot will be gone.
Now that we've learned to test with the Oracle Electronic Gold Tester, let's see how different metals react when we do a test. So, our first item is a 10 carat ring. And the lights go up into the 10 carat range. We've got a 14 carat ring. And the lights go up into the 14 range. We've got an 18 carat ring. Again, lights go all the way up into the 18 carat range. And we have a platinum ring. Lighting up in the platinum range. Now if you're paying close attention, you may have noticed that in between each of the carat ranges are a series of blue LEDs. Now those are useful because, as I'll demonstrate with this 14 carat ring, as the lights move up they pass in those in between ranges. If you test a piece and the blue lights happen to light up and stay lit rather than going into one of the indicated carat ranges, it basically is telling you that either you should re-perform the test or that you should examine that piece a little bit further just to be safe. Now I'm sure you're curious as to how the machine will react when testing other kinds of metals, so let's find out. I've got a gold plated piece that when I test lights up red and A letting us know definitely that is not a gold item. Got a silver ring, how will that react? Again, same thing, it's not gold. And I've got a stainless steel ring as well. No, nope, went all the way down into the NA range. That was not gold either. In fact, any base metal item, when tested on the machine, will always come up as not gold. Also when using your Oracle Electronic Gold Tester, it's really a good idea just to use some common sense. When testing an item, always check the markings on it to see what, how it's marked. If it's marked 14 karat, for instance, and you test the item and it tests something other than 14 karat, be suspicious of something like that. Also remember gold is a very heavy, dense item. So if you've got a piece that tests gold but is extremely light, you should be suspicious. Check it out further. When testing things like chains and bracelets, don't just test the clasp. Those can be changed quite easily. Test the item itself. Really, just use your gut. If something is suspicious or doesn't look right, examine it further. The Oracle Gold Tester is a sensitive piece of equipment, so when it's not in use, please store it away safely. Also, be sure to keep the cap on your testing probe to make sure that it doesn't dry out. At any time, if your machine should get dirty, it's just simply easy to wipe it off with a paper towel. Don't use any waters or chemicals when you clean it. If your tip on the testing probe should become dirty, again, a paper towel is your best answer. Simply wipe it off and replace the cap. Also, your indicator lights telling you to change your battery or change your testing probe should not be ignored. But the beauty of the tester is that this testing pen will give you over 5,000 tests on it with a single probe, and replacing it is as simple as unplugging it, purchasing a new one, and plugging it back in. The Oracle Electronic Gold Tester is quick, easy, and accurate, and you can get yours at fdjtool.com.